the undefeated Demetrius Caesar. Boo -boo. Yeah, you know, he's got he's got a full plate. He really does. Good body shot. And that one hurt him. Yeah, that one definitely hurt him. You could kind of see him reach down and claw yeah. that. It's a brutal sport, but Andre, you would think, would go right back to that. Well, I'm sure he will. Really no room for mercy at this point. Left oh, hand man. And down. And that's it. And you know what? Good call. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. The legs under him. Balance is not good. And uh, the right call by Paul Field. I mean, no doubt about it. No, I think so, too. And it There's an uppercut. And Andre now starting to load up on some of these punches, Vinny. his way back into the center of the ring and you know what Andre wasn't having that either I like Come back I like in with some big like punches it. and that's going to be it and he's not going to be happy that the fight was stopped but painfully obvious as the fight went along Vinny Paz that it was just two different classes in the ring tonight painfully obvious and it's going to be that way for, for a short while with his career he's going to he's going to be totally mismatched because There's a left hand to the body. The problem with Joseph's on the inside is he's trying to cover up. And as you just touched, Andre can bang to the body, and he has a very good uppercut. And I think that uppercut is going to play a big role here. The uppercut and the body work. Letting loose. A lot of action here early on from the Olympian. And Dick Flaherty pulls a halt to it. That didn't take long at all. Flaherty. Called an end to it. Here's the uppercut, Teddy, you were talking about. Wow, big shot. Yeah, he's a good punch. He has very fast hands. And the thing I like about him is he can take those long arms, shorten them up, and he can work inside as well as he can work on the outside. You see the end of the fight here. Going to the body, just putting the punches together. Joseph throwing two or three punches and they all count they all hit the point where you know later on as this fight going on it'll be gonna show and a wide variety as you saw the uppercut get in the mix there now a series of short right hooks and he scores the knockdown <laughs> As Romero came straight in and Andre sent him straight down. I don't think he's getting up. This was a perfect, perfect uppercut. He walked right into it. Exactly. I, I think it was a good stop also. And then he sets him up. Counter uppercut. Perfect shot. He he let he absolutely let Romez walk into that right uppercut. Left uppercut, excuse me. And he caught him right on the tip of, of, of the whiskers. Left up with a short left up with And that hurt Greenleaf. Delayed reaction. He's hurt, Brian. He's got to get back to the ring. I don't know if he's going to make it up. From that round, he had his man hurt, had him up against the ropes. Watch this right hand to the body.
If he wants to, he can go to the orthodox position, too. He's a natural lefty, but he does switch it up, as you noted. We've already seen that at moments today. And again, look for the body attack of Andre. He's a good body punch, and you can see there's some loose flesh in the body of Gareca. That didn't take long. Halfway through the first round, Andre went on the attack, and Gareca went down. Nine. These are not the kind of fights that will include Goreka. Well, again, we talked about he can fight inside, he can fight outside, he can go to the body. He has a good uppercut. You see here, he's taking little steps back, counter right hook. And it was a counter right. career he said hey we're cool we still love each other he's still a huge part of my life outside of boxing but too much of my relationships outside of boxing were affecting my world inside the gym so that a significant change for him and there's a significant change for Bell first knockdown of the night and if he doesn't get up that's it they're not it was the rust or the left hand of Andre, a little bit of both, but the left hand lands there solid. We'll take another look. Andre comes in, and he makes that adjustment. He throws the left hand. But he gives you openings every second. Hart's going to get you hurt tonight. Really, I don't... Hernandez in a disrespectful way, but Hernandez doesn't know how to fight. He just knows how to swing and slug. And... Oh, it was a sharp left hand from Andre, and then a body shot finishes off the night. Demetrius Andre with a second round knockout victory. For that, watch yeah, again. Yeah, both the left and the right prior. Yeah, the right hook out. hurts him. The left hand hurts him. Then he, he's going to swing, he's going to miss, and he's going to fall down. But he was already hurt before that. And in the end, a straight left hand. It didn't matter which hand it was. Left or right, the opportunities were going to be there. He just didn't get into it like uh, Demetrius did. And, uh, you know, the kid would train hard every day. He loves the sport. He loves the game. He always learned. His father, I got to give his father, and this guy, David Keefe, who was with him all as an amateur and 11-0 uh, as a pro, just stayed with him all the time and, and got him better and got him to where he is today. Hope you're enjoying this Saturday night special of Friday Night Fights, as we will be doing. Peter and I are going to be checking out Mayweather and Cotto. And Teddy has the fight plan for that fight, brought to you by... Corona Extra. We will have that in a moment, but for now, this may be the end of the fight. Right on the bell. And it is over. Watch, you see Rudy coming in here with a lazy jab, and then Demetrius just takes a step back, sees it, counters him with two beautiful shots, catches him nice coming in. Take a look at this. Watch, you see it again. Bang, bang. Two beautiful shots as Rudy was coming in.
The 11th. Oh. And down goes Nelson for the third time tonight. He spent that. To knockdowns. Gordy Howe would appreciate that. He sure would. On a right uppercut. Oh. Left.